Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Alice, I'm one of the owners of Awesome, and this is my friend Jazz. We're gonna teach you about the captain's chair today. Love this chair. Before we get started, I always like to let you know that it's a good idea to wipe all of the equipment down. I have this towel that I carry with me in my Awesome bag that I start out my visit with. I just spray it down really, really good, and then I wipe down all the equipment and the remote. We've already done that, so I'm gonna put that away here in my cup in my bag because we're very high tech here. And I'm gonna show you how to get into this chair. This chair has a foot rest to it. And you never wanna stand in the foot rest of any massage chair. So the best way to get into this, especially for people who have bad knees or that kind of stuff, um, is to just put one foot in front and one foot to the side. Put your left hand down on the arm next to you and then just gently lower yourself into the chair. Now you're gonna be sitting in kind of a weird spot on this chair at this point, and then you can put your feet into the chair, grab onto the arms, and scoot yourself back. All right, Jazz, tell us about the captain's All chair. All right, so the captain's chair is one of my absolute favorite massage chairs. The captain's chair is actually one of our customizable massage chairs here at Awesome. So we can customize this chair to fit your body type. So tell me really quick, what is massage good for? Why so should I why should I invest my time? There's three in the main things. Chair. It's okay. gonna be great for your adrenal, your circulatory, and your lymphatic health. Okay, so really, really important. How do we turn this wonderful machine on? Oh, let's first tell people how to get into it because I forgot. Yes. All of our chairs have these arm parts. And I always like to take off any bulky jewelry and that kind of thing. I also like to take off my watch. So I'm gonna take off my watch and just set that into my awesome bag really quick and then slide my arms into the chair. Now, if I was personally getting this started, obviously I'd keep one hand out to, to do the remote. But today, Jazz is in the driver's seat. Yes. So <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back and relax. All right, Miss Jazz, show us how to fire this puppy up. Another thing to remember is just to make sure that this pillow is oh, adjusted. Yeah. So there's these little ledges right here on the pillow. Just make sure those are lined up with your shoulders. And then just make sure your head fits comfortably in there. It does. Perfect. There you go. So to start this up, there's a button at the very bottom of the screen. We're gonna hit that button. And the thing about this massage chair is it does start adjusting to your body right away. So we're gonna come up here to the auto, up in this upper left-hand corner, and then we're gonna hit a health mode. Health is just a full body massage. We like to put everybody on those just to start off with, and then you're more than welcome to choose any of those other massages that we have on there. Now, there's a couple other things that you need to be aware of when you do this. We're gonna come up to settings right here. Each massage chair has a different time setting. So we're gonna come into massage time setting, and you can adjust it to however long you'd like to try this out for. Then, down here on the bottom of the screen, there's gonna be a heat setting. Now, the custom, this captain's chair is one of my favorites because of the heat setting on here, because it's very powerful and I can actually feel it. So, we're gonna hit this checkbox up in this upper corner. And then we can go up to five or down to one with the heat. Then down here, there's the intensity. So like I said, this is customizable to you. So we have different sections. We have your neck and shoulder, your back, your arm, and your feet. We can go up to five in the intensity or we can go down to one in each of these categories. Fantastic, okay. You did a great job on that. So this is just, insane how incredible this is. I could stay here all day. <laughs> so um, one of the things that I like to do when I use this massage chair is I do like to move the pillow back if I'm trying to have it get into my neck and shoulders. So you can just flip that back in order to do that or you know keep it keep it right here because this these will inflate and put a little pressure on your shoulders and kind of work that really really gently. So that is that is another option. Okay as much as I, oh, I don't want to. Let's let everybody know how to turn this off and then we'll go into the frequently asked questions. So how to turn this off is very simple. That same button that we click to turn it on at the bottom of the screen, we're gonna just click it twice and it's just gonna sit you up nice and slow. So will this chair always sit itself up? Most of the time, yes. Some of the massage chairs we have to 
either click another button or manually do it. If it does not sit up for you, we're just going to keep clicking that button maybe once or twice more, and then it will sit up for you. Every once in a while, somebody will get in and tweak the settings. Please don't do that. <laughs> They'll tweak it so that it won't sit back up. Um, that would be the only time that it wouldn't sit back up. So if it doesn't, just press that button twice, and you'll sit back up. All right. Let's see. Let's make sure we answered all of the frequently asked questions about this chair. Um, who is this chair good for? This chair is great for anybody that has broader shoulders, a little bit taller, and it's also great for anybody that wants a good medium to deep tissue massage. Okay, fantastic. I love the feet on this one, too. The feet, um, we have two chair, three chairs now, actually, that are a little more intense on the feet. This is probably, I'd say, um, as far as rollers go, it's the most gentle of the rollered mm -hmm. feet that we have, and I, I really love that. So if this chair is a little too intense, like you said, we can turn it down, but what other accommodations can we make? Another thing that we can do is outside of the DV, there's a table on your left. That table has different pads. There are smaller pads, and then there's also longer pads. So if you're having a little section that's a little painful, grab one of those smaller ones and put it right there. I like to sometimes put one underneath my tailbone because my tailbone is a little sensitive. Um, and sometimes I like to just put a long one behind my whole back and it just is very comfortable and it just makes a perfect massage. Fantastic, fantastic. We talked about how to sit in the chair, where the remote is, how to use it. We talked about how to turn on the heat and time. We did good. Um, remote, the remote on this one is just gonna stay right here. You don't have to worry about putting it on your tummy or it falling anywhere. It just stays right here on the chair. How to turn it off. Um, I think that's it. We did good. We covered all we the did. frequently asked questions. <laughs> Jazz, well done. Thanks. Thank you. All right, we hope that this answered a lot of your frequently asked questions. If you have other questions, please be sure to ask your guest guide. Refer to the equipment manuals that give you more of the scientific information on all the equipment here at Awesome, or see more information on our website. And you have an awesome day.